I absolutely love strawberries and raspberries because they are delicious. Mulberry. I love how sweet they are, but they're subtle. I like apples. Apples are pretty good. They're delicious. They taste good. I mash strawberry or raspberry with um, sugar and I add a little bit of um, sour cream. It's very delicious. You guys should try it. Some strawberries and some blueberries and that's what we're having for dessert. The urban orchard is an actual fruit city, surrounded by many fruit trees such as apple, apricot and lots of berries. And did you know that Toronto grows 1.5 million pounds of fruit every year? But a lot of it is wasted because it's never harvested. This is a documentary about the urban orchard and how we can reduce this waste. We've got all of these fruit trees growing and if we could figure out a way how to um, uh, make people aware that they should be picking and harvesting and using up the fruit instead of letting it fall on the ground and rotting. There's probably a lot of people that could use the food, so maybe giving it uh, shelters or second harvest. And then otherwise we can uh, make sure that we try to eat the food that we buy uh, before it goes bad. Well, I have heard of some programs where volunteers go and pick the fruit off trees when it's ripe and they give some to the homeowner and they keep some and then the rest of it goes to food banks. My name is Megan Anovich and I'm the director of Not Far From The Tree. The goal of Not Far From The Tree is to engage as many people in Toronto as possible in the urban harvest and so we want people of all ages from all backgrounds to participate in the harvest and have access to the fresh, local and organic fruit that grows right here in the city. So one third of every fruit pick is biked directly to a social service agency in the community. So we have 38 partners this season and what we hear is that they really like the opportunity to receive fresh fruit. Um, it's a healthy, organic alternative to what they would receive. So they find that fresh fruit is a great alternative. It's something they can put out on the table and the clients can eat right away. So cherries and berries are usually big hits just because um, they're very expensive in the grocery store. Everybody seems to have uh, no time to do anything because they're rushing around working and so it's easy and fast to get it from the grocery store. I think people buy grocery store fruit because it's convenient. Uh, they're already there getting other things. A lot of people probably don't know where to go to pick apples in Toronto, I guess, so that just go pick up at the grocery store. Well, that's probably because they don't have the space to grow them. You have to have a you know, big backyard. Lack of knowledge, not everybody knows what to do and probably lack of time for a lot of people. Convenience is a big thing, so they go to the grocery store. Instead of buying imported berries or fruit from grocery stores, explore your city's urban orchard or get involved with social service organizations. Our work surely wouldn't be possible without the support of our volunteers, of our tree registrants, of our partner agencies, of support from other organizations in the community. And so I guess one of the questions that we're looking at is how do we take care of our urban orchard and how do we put steps in place now to plant trees so that we continue to have an orchard in the future. Once you get involved with us, you start to have fruit goggles, which means that when you're walking around Toronto and you're walking down alleyways or looking in backyards you start seeing all these fruit trees that you had never seen before you start seeing cherries in laneways you see mulberries all over the ground you see service berries outside of condo buildings and then you just start to realize that there's so much fruit growing here yes i try to grow um, strawberries and um, tomatoes but um, raccoons and squirrels they just destroyed it so i'm not growing anything anymore got a, a hanging basket of uh, strawberries growing in my backyard so it's pretty cool. I grow strawberries at home and raspberries. I've done lots of gardening in the past where I grew tomatoes and beans and uh, peas and lots of other things but it's a lot of work, it's a lot of water. I don't know if it's a lame way but uh, we got one of these indoor things from Best Buy where you can grow some little tomatoes and some uh, strawberries and stuff so we grow a few little things. 
is a mulberry tree. Um, they're still very green. Uh, a couple of weeks are going to be fresh and ripe and delicious. And uh, this particular tree drops a lot of berries. It's very mature and you wouldn't want to park underneath it because your car is going to be coated in mulberry juice. A lot of the trees that were planted here in Toronto were planted quite a few years ago by people who really knew what to do with their fruit trees. There's been a generational shift and new homeowners have adopted these fruit trees. Not many people know what to do with the fruit. So if you inherit a grapevine that's producing 300 pounds of grapes every year but you're not making wine, um, a lot of the grapes end up falling to waste. They don't necessarily know what to do with the quantity of you know, 200 to 300 pounds of apples. We wanna offer an option that you can share your fruit with the community. If you're concerned about food waste, then consider that Toronto's Urban Orchard provides a great opportunity to bring together community and provide fresh, healthy fruit for everyone.